and welcome to my channel. So what I wanted to talk about today was my living situation, where I live, and um, how I keep my space. So there is a little bit of a story. So I have this big house, big house that I raised children in, raised a family in, and I am in the master bedroom, and I have other family members that live with me that are in the other bedrooms. I love having them here. and. I've had this master bedroom. In the past, we've all shared the kitchen, the bathrooms. Uh, I've always had my own bathroom in here. So I started van life about five years ago, and I really learned how to live in a small space, a very small space. The, sm the space I live in my van is the size of like a bathroom. <laughs> and um, I found it really challenging and exciting to just create the small space and and live in it and just have everything I need just in one little space. So what I did was I applied that same concept to my master bedroom. I decided to make it almost kind of like a little studio apartment. Um, is it because I want to get away from everybody? No, but I really do enjoy my privacy and I enjoy having my own kitchen and my own things and also have the company of people that I love that are on the other side of the door. Sharing a kitchen, sharing a fridge and sharing all that stuff. I felt like I was, I felt like I was ready to have my own space, but I didn't want to sell my house and I enjoy having the family here. So for me, what I did was I took this master bedroom and I made it into a tiny space for me, almost like an efficiency um, slash studio apartment. So I've kind of sectioned the room into different um, rooms and uh, I have all the privacy I need. I have all the things that I love, I love here. Um, and I have all my food in the, my refrigerator and I have um, my bathroom and it just feels like uh, I'm at the point in my life that I just want space that's mine um, without selling the house and going smaller because I don't need a six bedroom house anymore. But I actually do because I have people that are utilizing all that space lovely people, lovely situation. It's really working well, but I can close this door and I'm totally self-sufficient in this, in this master bedroom. Um, I could just, I could not go out there all day, although I typically choose to, because I like to say hi to people, <laughs> but then I like to come here and you know, we all like our privacy. So everybody has their, their rooms and their private space works. It just works wonderful. It's just a win-win for all of us. Uh, so this is my living room. This is the living room. I love my chair. I love my recliner. Um, I'm not a big, huge fan of recline, recliners. I don't typically like the way that they they look, but this one was nice and trim and, and it wasn't too puffy and it's nice and comfy and um, it works really well for me. But what I like is I like to have everything I need right around me and um, I, I need things to not take up too much space. Now this little table right here is really like a foot by a foot and I found it at a thrift store for five dollars and it takes up very little real estate and it holds all my books and this is where i typically have my dinner and um i got my my favorite pencils i have a waste basket right here i have all my plants around me i love lamps all my lamps come from thrift, thrift stores and um uh, there's that wall lamp and there's this floor lamp that's just gorgeous i love it and I just love light. And I also have a light bulb that my son bought for me for a, um, a gift. And it's, I can do it by my phone here and I can make it any color I want. I can pick any color. It's like Hue, Phillips Hue or something like that. Um, it's, it's, it's a really cool thing. He got me the light bulb and the, and then I, you just download the app and I can make this red. I can make it green, blue, yellow, golden. It's wonderful this is where I keep my, my laptop and I do a lot of zoom calls. I like to socialize with zoom. What this little table provides me 
is the space to put this here so I can have a Zoom session. I can do some filming from here uh, with this background that I enjoy so much. Uh, and all I did, I just had this old wooden stool in the garage. I took an old piece of wood and I screwed it to the top of the, the top of the stool and I just covered it with fabric. That's all I did. And this right here is a, uh, an old hassock and, um, it was the ugliest thing. I got it at a, uh, thrift store for a couple of bucks and I covered it with fabric. Um, that's for the cat. So my cat sits here. And I got my little thing here and then I just have everything placed just where it needs to be so that when I put my legs up, nothing gets hit, nothing gets moved. And here you go. It's a good life. It's a good life. Now, a friend of mine was getting rid of some furniture and I thought these nightstands were just so lovely. I love the glass tops and they're wicker and they weigh a ton. They're a really good quality. Um, so I put this on this side holds my tissues, my uh, writing things, and of course a fan because uh, that's on and off all day long to manage the, um, the uh, temperature fluctuations of a senior woman. And then I just, keep, I just keep all things in here that I might need. And this is my living room. And you know, there's not many things that I have in my room that, uh, that don't mean something. Everything is either something that means something to me, something that has a story, or something that I just love to look at. So up here on the shelf, I have plants, which I love. I love plants. Um, this clock right here was uh, a gift from the company that I retired from. Um, it's all it's engraved with my name, thanking me for service. Uh, many, many years of service. They served me well. I served them well. Right next to it, what's really, another thing that's really special to me is this jar. It's called a gratitude jar. And my son bought me that for a gift. He gives very, very, very thoughtful gifts. It has a little stack of paper, a little stack of paper and a little pencil. And you just open it. You can write things that you're grateful for and put them in the jar. And he got me that because he knows he's got a grateful mama. He knows. And um, another thing that I just love is this picture of me when I was a little, little, little girl. That's little, little, little Lulu. That's little Lulu. How cute am I? Oh, my God, I can't stand it. <laughs> this is the bedroom. Now, here's the living room. Here is the transition into the bedroom. Now, typically when you have a, a, a bed in a master bedroom, it would be up against a wall. It wouldn't be shoved in a corner. It would be in the middle of a, the blankest wall with um, nightstands on either side and a headboard. But you know something? I don't, do, I don't do normal. I do functional. I just do more functional. So for me, having this in the corner provides me the opportunity to have a living room and a gym and a kitchen and all that. So. I love this white comforter. It's just my favorite. It's just, it's perfect in the winter. It's perfect in the summer. It just seems to be an all season. And, and it's also, it's my blanket at night and it's my bedspread. And over here, what I did, I just love me some thrift store stuff. Okay. So my pillows are not from a thrift store. <laughs> but these covers are. So I love having, these are the pillows I sleep with. These are the ones I decorate with. And I can just change those out anytime I want. I just get these little shams, these uh, pillow shams at a thrift store for a couple of dollars. I was just into orange. So I got the orange. I got this at a thrift store too for a couple of bucks. And I just thought that married well with this. Just thought it was kind of cool. And, um, over there, I got that shelf at a thrift store. And what I did was I painted it the same color as the wall. So it just kind of blended right in. And then, of course, I found that simplify uh, sign at a thrift store. And that thing on the wall is from a thrift store. Actually, the, the, the greenery was, came from a thrift store in a really ugly pot, horrific looking pot. 
and I found that that's all metal and tin and I love how it's a little rusty down the bottom and I just hung that up and I said this greenery will look great in this so um, sometimes you have to be creative when you're looking at things in a um, thrift store actually these curtains too that are just this beautiful linen with this uh, with this lace and the rods these curtains and the and the rods are all from thrift stores. They're just a, it's a beautiful linen with this lace edge, and the and the rods. And just so you know what these things are, these are called Rainbow Symphony. So um, when the sun comes in here, this is the, the sun comes on this side of the house in the evening, and when the sun comes in, this these here create. A rainbow symphony on the wall just once a day I have them throughout the house and at some point during the day every one of them gets hit by the Sun and creates a rainbow symphony for you know it's maybe five or ten minutes but it's fun I like it I like it and so over here I got this step stool at a thrift store as well and I painted it the color of the wall just so it could it would just blend right in and this is for my cat so my cat can get up on the bed. And this is for my cat. I don't love having this in here, like a scratch post. Like I don't want a scratch post in my room, but she's either gonna scratch this or she's gonna scratch my furniture. So I have it in here for her. And also, this is a little bed that I made for her. All this is, is a serving tray. It's a serving tray that has handles on the side. I just attached it with some, um, uh, screws and washers right onto the windowsill. I put a little little kitty bed in there. And uh, my favorite word is yay. And somebody gave me a birthday card one year with the word yay on the front. And I cut it out and put it right here. Yay for kitty. And this is her little bed. And she spends a lot of time in this bed that I made. And then this is uh, also from a thrift store. I love this little, this little, uh, <laughs> I love this lady. She's awesome. I had to have her. I saw her and I was like, I don't know. You look like a cup you're supposed to drink from or something. I don't know, but you're coming home with me. And then I found this other weird thing. Like what? This is like a like a hunk of wood. But look what someone did. <laughs> Isn't that like it's a little funky? But I love her. I love her because she's interesting. She's interesting. And then this is also part of the set of the um, the two nightstands. So this cabinet, as you can see, takes up why I was very interested in taking this off my friend's hands is because it takes up very little real estate. It's tall and skinny instead of a big dresser. And I don't even use it for a dresser. I use it for just all supplies, just my like office supplies. I have extra extra food things in here. I don't use it for clothes at all. And I love little lamps, and I find anytime I find a lamp, oh, I just love it. So um, those little beaded lamps, love them, love them. And I'm a big fan of the zebra. I'm a big fan of the zebra. I love zebra fabric. I love zebra everything. And I found a zebra who had to live in my house at a thrift store, as usual. So this area is the gym. Um, do I love the way all this stuff looks? Nah, not really. Um, just kind of like the scratch post. Like I wouldn't mind if this was just all pretty stuff instead of that. But um, this stuff serves me well when I'm motivated to use it. Um, I'm not going to lie and say I'm on this, use this stuff all the time. I go in and out of it. Um, so I have a, a rebounder. It was strongly advised to me by a very wise woman to get a rebounder for. Um, lymphatic drainage it's it's really good to move the lymphatic system um is is what the rebounder is for and then this right here is a vibration plate so this is one of those things that you stand on and it sh shakes you know, like crazy um uh this was highly recommended to me by a very wise woman who suggested that this would it's just it's it's more about um moving energy I know that sounds a little woo woo. I got this for the purpose of um, moving energy and warming up. It's uh, vibrations good for the body. 
and then this right here is an called an air stepper so it's it this is where i do my cardio so these things you know you stand on it and step step and um like 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 this and it doesn't take it doesn't take any energy so it's uh it's all worked on these bellow these bellows and uh anyway everything on this little shelf right here everything has a story everything has a story it's not just a bunch of little pretty things everything has a story and then i have my yoga mat and the yoga blocks um and then that's why this tv is here i really i don't have cable tv i can't i don't get one channel on this tv but i like this here for yin yoga youtube videos so yin yoga was highly recommended to me so i got this so i could do some yin yoga videos and this right here was gifted to me by a friend um not this last road trip i went on but the road trip i went on before my friend who lives in arkansas i was going through arkansas and i stopped in and i helped her with some construction in her house we worked for a couple weeks on construction uh, before i went to florida for the winter and uh she had this in her house and i admired it i was like that is gorgeous gorgeous she said it's from india and um, i have every drawer filled this is all my essential oils and this is candles i have all kinds of stuff anyway when i got home she fedexed it to me <laughs> she fedexed it to me from arkansas so this is really special it's gorgeous i love it so now this is my closet and i don't have a bureau so everything needs to go in here remember i have a tiny space i don't want a lot of clutter and I want it to function well. So over here, I have shoes and all the things that hang short. Then over here, they start to hang long like the dresses. And then over here is where I hang all the long things, the long pants. This is all um, socks and undergarments. This is my dirty laundry. This is all my work clothes, all the clothes that I wear when I work in the garage and work in the yard. They're all ripped and paint and all that. So that's all my work clothes. And then over here in the middle is all my jammies. And this holds everything that I need, everything that I need. Another thing I have in here is I have an extra chair when I have company. So what I do is I put this right here. And then I, I have a guest here. And then I can just get this out of the way and put it in the closet when they leave. And they have uh, some space right here for the cup of tea. So it works out good. Down this hall is the master bath. So for years and years, it was the bathroom. And then there were, um, there's a linen closet and a big, huge area where the, we, we had a washer and dryer. When we first built the house 30 years ago, washer dryer was in the in the master bedroom. So when I was raising kids and I had the washer and dryer in here, it was very convenient for me to do laundry for the family. I needed to move it out of here. So now that resides down the basement where the big playroom used to be with the kids. So now that's the laundry room down there. So now I had all that extra space up here. So what I did was I made a kitchenette. Come on, I'll show you. So this right here was the linen closet, and it had a louvre door here. I just took the door off, and I bought this fridge, and um, it's just big enough for me. And I didn't want to put it on the floor, and it just sits right on that table, and it brings everything up to eye level for me, which is wonderful. And then this is my, um, my little veggie steamer. So now down here, there used to be folding doors here. So you would just open the doors like this, and there'd be a washer and dryer here. So I took the doors off. I had a friend that was remodeling their kitchen and getting rid of all their kitchen cabinets. They were going in the trash. And I was like, no, I'll take them. So I took some um, cabinets that were otherwise going to end up in the trash. And I just worked with what I had. And I just put these cabinets in. I installed them myself. And um, so on my counter here, I don't need anything more than... A toaster oven. This is what I, I bake and roast and um, uh, broil in. And then I just have things hanging. I got my, my measuring spoons. I got this. 
I, I made I put the spice rack in another one of those shelves that I painted the same color as the wall. I have my my tea kettle and my coffee grinder and my paper towels. And then I found this at a thrift store. And I right now there's nothing in it, but I keep I can put extra groceries in there. And then um, I just put this here. I put these little shelves. This holds my little cups and my cleaning things. And I put my cutting boards over here, my little fry pan in here. And of course, my food scale. Of course. And um, then I just put these little drawers in that have, this has all rags that I use, dish towels, Tupperware, extra supplies. And then this is where I, when I'm doing my dishes, I put those, I, I put them here to dry. And that's where I keep my oils down there. And all down there is all food. Up here is all supplements and plates and other food. And so over here, what I did was, so it was the bathroom sink. So I had a sink this big, a little round sink, little round sink. Wasn't going to work for me. So I was like, do I, do I get a kitchen sink? Like an actual kitchen sink? I didn't want to do that because it's still, it, it's still a bathroom. So I searched for bathroom sinks, large bathroom sinks. This was the largest one I could find. And um, I just had the little one taken out, put this big one here. So it's big enough for me to do dishes. I put this little rubber mat in because um, the dishes really clank on the ceramic. I don't like that. I don't like that sound. So I just put this rubber mat here. And then I found this faucet that's really cool because it doesn't look like a kitchen faucet because it's not. It's a bathroom faucet. But... It has this, right? So I've got a bathroom faucet and a bathroom sink that can function as a kitchen sink. So I do dishes here. Works out wonderful. I don't have a garbage disposal. There's one out in the main kitchen, but not here. And um, so I'm careful with my garbage. And actually, I have my little, this is my little compost bin. And I fill that up with um, garbage. And then when that is full, I, I have a compost system that I have out in my, out in my uh, yard. And then, of course, my Berkey, I have to have my Berkey. And what's really convenient about that, and I have it right here, is because I can just go like this and fill it up like this. And then I have my Berkey water. And so in here, and here's my shower. It's, it's what I love about this shower. It's like a three-quarter shower. So it's... um. It's not like a little teeny shower stall. Um, ideally, I would love a bathtub for my room, but I don't have one. And um, uh, But I have everything I need. I've got my, my brushes and my razors and everything, and it's just, and it's all mine. And this little rack, also at a thrift store, holds my extra bathroom tissue. And um, this is my scale that I weigh myself on once a month. And I bought that scale when I was 19 years old. I bought that scale. That's how long that's been around. It's called a healthometer. <laughs> and it's just, it just works all these years. All these years it works. So this is my space. I love this space. I have everything that I need and only what I need. I change things out often because I enjoy it. If I find something that I love at a thrift store for my space that I love, I get it and I usually find something to take away and swap it out. It's just the way I keep, keep it fresh. And um, this fairy right here was a gift and I just stuck her right up there. I just love her. She's beautiful. Borders like this, that's all wood. And it's, um, I just love the way it frames the mirror. Now this mirror is here for me for, uh, for working out. And this mirror is here for me for dancing because that's part of my working out. I just boogie on down. And then let's not forget the tap shoes. We'll never forget the tap shoes. And I do have a board. I do have a tap dance floor and I put it right here. 
and I have my uh, downloads from this instructor that I bought a program from, and I put my lessons right on here, and I tap my little heart out. And that is the tour of my master bedroom, studio, apartment, place where I call home. Somebody might feel claustrophobic in here and thinking like, how do you just live in one room? You go try living in a van. You go try living in uh, four by seven, 28 square feet. I think that might be the size of my bathroom in there with the shower and the toilet. That's what I live in for months. When I come home here in this space, <laughs> feels like a mansion. Feels like a mansion. Um, like I say, I love having my own space with my own things. When I'm finished raising kids and then I retired and I have this, you know, sense of freedom, um, there's just something about just downsizing that I think a lot of people in, in their retirement do. They want to downsize. And this for me is, this is the way I downsize. I, um, I have the best of both worlds because I have family members that I love that are on the other side of this door, but I do have that um, downsized feeling for myself that I was yearning for. And um, so between the camper van and this room, I'm good to go. Bye for now.